No, tractor, no. Why must you be so cruel? This is going to be my attempt at riding a BMW R1250R and I'm going to try and do you BMW folks proud because I am not used to riding drive shafts. It is a strange experience when you give that throttle a bit of a twist and the entire bike sort of goes whee. Mm, that's uh, strange. So first impressions of this bike, I've rode it for 10-15 miles at this point very smooth very fluid it's almost i don't know coming off a kawasaki vulcan s as my main bike it's almost too smooth i find that the uh, the biting point on this one at least the way the clutch is set up is actually quite far away from me so i'm having to extend my fingers just a little bit further than what i'm used to but that's fine that's just how the bike's set up uh this is currently in road mode i'm not going to take it out of that because i'm not an absolute uh mad lad and, uh, well, I'd continue, but I think we'd all rather I'd be past this uh, tractor before I uh, bore you to death. Right, so where were we? <clears throat> Countryside. Lovely open road in front of us. Nice bike. So, like I said, first impressions. Very smooth, very subtle. Little changes of the gear. It does have a quick shifter on it. I'm not in the realm of wanting to... Um, throw the gears up and down without doing the clutch because I've been sort of, you know, almost programmed to do it like that. I do find myself having to wrestle this bike just ever so slightly more than I would do on my cruiser. Yep. Go on, you get space. There we go. Now I'm used to obviously riding quite low to the ground being on one of those things, so to be this high up, you know, for, for a change I've actually got a I can almost flat foot. I can flat foot on one side but not on the other, so I, I take that as half and half really. Uh, <laughs> so it, it's quite interesting to put it into a corner and actually have to put a bit of effort into turning for a change. It's a nice it's a nice feeling because it gets you it gets you moving a little bit more. Or it gets me moving a little bit more compared to what I'm used to. And it's, it's almost sort of strange to feel yourself using different muscles rather than just like moving your arms a little bit or tilting it, leaning it every now and then. I've actually got a push on the handlebar to give it a decent turn. So a little bit of confidence goes a long way on one of these. And you know what? I love it. I absolutely love it. I will say I'm not entirely used to the bike. So, you know, what's 15, 20 miles going to do for you? Not a lot. Give it a couple hours. For now, we ride cautiously because that's what I do on this channel. I ride cautiously, I ride carefully, and we don't dick about, basically. So, sorry if you're looking for a balls to the wall 100 mile an hour sprint up and down the countryside here, but you're not going to get it from me. The X is up there, off you go. So, for those of you still here, hi. Like I said, corning. corning? Cornering, there we go. A little bit different. I can feel myself really lean over for a change. It's a, it's a great feeling that. And it's also quite um, <laughs> quite intimidating as well, being used to sit so low and then suddenly you've actually got to move into it and you can feel yourself, you can feel the entire bike actually do that with you on top of it rather than sat in it. But you know what? This is a, this is a low seat as well for this bike, so to, to feel that as much as I do, it's still quite fun. It's very quiet. And I noticed this with Cockney's bike when I was uh, touring with him in the US on his K1600. Ooh, lovely bike that. You've got the lovely Dawn on that massive Indian Chieftain, me on a bloody great big Harley Davidson Street Glide. It's a road glide, one of the two. Can't bloody remember these days. And uh, poor Cockney in front of us on a very powerful bike don't get me wrong but compared to us two 
it just sounded a little bit as this one does really it's very refined very very refined not sure how I feel about that because for me jump on a motorcycle you want to hear it you want to you want to yeah that I was that tilted surprisingly much there bloody hell <laughs> I won't be doing that in a hurry Woo. you might be able to pick that up on the old uh, the video there with the entire bike just sort of leans that's what you can expect out of a drive shaft the brakes on this front and back are very sharp and uh, another thing I'm not really used to is all the technological mumbo gumbos all the gubbins that come on this I'm not used to looking at stacks and tyre pressures and temperatures and that sort of stuff I just have like a little console in front of me which just says right that's, a, that's how fast to go in and that's your rev counter and just ride safe good luck but with this um, there we go you can get information on your vehicle and other bits and bobs navigation yay music telephone settings I'm gonna pop back over to the old uh, vehicle info go down from there and look at all this happy mumbo jumbo my eyes are on the road by the way yes they are <laughs> touching the front brake here because I can't really see around that bend there we go and I like the way the whole display just kind of whoop, goes up as well so I've still got the uh, speed and I've still got the gears and then we've got all the temperatures and the lovely stuff and here's your journey obviously I've not reset any of this because mm, why onboard computer, trip computer, service requirements, yeah it's nice it's good to know I've got 4,000 miles remaining if I want to take this for a service very cautious of any wet patch on the road on this thing <laughs> again just me being overly cautious if there is anything I can really nitpick at and I mean really nitpick at it's going to be this little indicator here because it is easy to signal left and right takes a couple of goes to begin with if you're not used to it but the response you get from it is very minimal if I wanted to indicate to go right it's a very small movement there you see and pushing in is actually uh, quite nice so popping the signals on quite nice experience if uh, a little bit they get used to and then getting the signal off mm, it's a lovely little response there you feel a nice little click under your thumb Right, so once we get past the national speed limit sign, uh, I'm in third gear at the moment, I'll give it a little bit of beans. Oh yeah, yeah she tugs. She tugs quite a lot, that's quite a nice feeling actually. <laughs> oh that is very fun. It's strange not to have that sort of, uh, for me anyway, it's strange not to have the, the, the response that you get from a chain, but having that drive shaft there, the power is just... Mm, and uh, oh yeah, that's, that's a very nice feeling. And uh, as is typical with the British countryside and weather, the wind is coming seemingly straight at me. So that's going to be amazing. I don't want to go too fast because that's going to completely ruin the audio, isn't it? And for some people, well, if you don't ride fast, then you're not getting the experience of the bike. Bollocks. I'm having a lot of fun here. <laughs> I'm quite content being at 40, 50 miles an hour riding along here, this is great. So suspension I find quite smooth, quite responsive. I've not gone over any bumps which have actually kicked me out of the seat yet. Not that I've actually seen any that could do so, but regardless it is a very smooth ride. Oh, nice little bend coming up here. Acceleration, lovely, engine braking is good a little touch of back brake round here beautiful and that little touch there I mean I was just feathering feathering away at the back brake and it just sent me straight around that corner nicely it slowed me down enough so I could just lean it in a little bit give it a little bit of a turn lovely brakes are very sharp on this wear them in a little bit uh, maybe that'd be more where I'd like them to be but you know what I like the fact that although they are sharp I can just simply give it a little tap, a little love tap, and the brake says, yep, fine, that's cool. Lovely, lovely bikes, lovely countryside, lovely people, lovely weather. Hmm. 
I like this. <laughs> I like this. One thing I will say about this bike actually is it's very, very quiet. Oh, hang on, hang on. Beautiful. Yeah, it's very relaxing is what I want to say. Because you know, the exhaust isn't obnoxiously loud, the engine is you know, big, powerful, lovely 1250 engine. Awesome stuff. And um, although I've got earplugs in, which obviously helps a lot, I don't feel like I'm being deafened by the very machine I'm riding. And for a lot of people that wouldn't make a lot of sense, but when you see your Harleys and all that sort of stuff and they've got these like obnoxiously loud pipes on and they're all having fun, that's great, you know, just all that. Uh, that bend sneaks up on you a little bit, you know. Um, when you've got your loud obnoxious pipes on, you know, it's going to damage your hearing after a while. And uh, who wants to ride in a big group of those that isn't part of that scene? Well, that's all fine, well and good, do as you will, ride as you will. But with this, it's just... You know, I'm not going to ride it like these guys. Yeah. <laughs> you won't get that sound out of this, I don't think, unless you really run the darn thing ragged. But it's just so... I don't know, I could see myself jumping on this and just plodding up and down the countryside like I usually do anyway. For me, it wouldn't make a difference apart from the seating position. Would I say anything else? If it was a piece of crap, I'd bloody say so, but... Um, for the most part, I'm happy, to, happy enough to ride it. Uh, for the rest of it, I really enjoy riding this. It's only been a short time, but it's been fun. Good job. <laughs>